now to to record uh, to install wordpress on your domain the first thing you need to do is to go to the c panel of your domain uh same cosmetic dot store you now put slash c panel the control panel of your domain is the first thing to go into to install wordpress when you are installing wordpress on your domain go to the control panel. the first thing you need to do is to go to the control panel of your domain then log in with your do uh the hosting sorry control panel of your hosting then log in with your hosting username and your hosting password this domain already have hosting and we are in the control panel of the hosting then we're going to log into the hosting username with the hosting username and the hosting password okay let's get started this is the hosting username and this is the hosting password so to go to the c panel of this hosting wow now we are the c panel of the hosting at the c panel of the hosting you just go straight to softaculous app installer and it's from here can you see softaculous app installer is from the exclusive to name because you didn't go in case you don't find it just come down here to the software area then you click wordpress manager by softaculous click on wordpress manager by softaculous softaculous then you click on uh install wordpress now this is the wordpress installation interface hello the first thing you need to do in case you are using a multiple domain website don't install wordpress in the existing domain make sure you install wordpress in a do particular domain you are using because uh, hosting my app different domain name under it so specify the domain you want to install wordpress to so from the domain choose here specify the domain you want to install this is the domain i'm installing to same cosmetics dot store that's where i'm installing to and make sure you choose your protocol to be https a secure or protocol then they say the https is not found because it's not completely installed but it will be fun after the installation is completed the ssl installation is completed then after that you you now type the name make sure the directory nothing is inside your directory and make sure you choose the latest fashion here then in, in, on the site name, you now type the name of your site, same cost metric metrics store. That's the name of my website. Then you type the site description, beauty. I'm using beauty store as a description here. B E A beauty store as this. You can put any description related to your store. Now, after you've done that, the admin username, you put the admin username. You can use admin. Then there is a generated password here. I'll advise you to generate use generated password or type your own password in this case now i'm going to use generated password then i'm going to copy the generated password that i already generated for me then i'm saving it in my notepad here so that i will not forget it so i'll save it in my notepad then i copy the generated password then this admin mail will automatically uh be installed be, uh, be sh shown on the box for you you have to create it i will show you how to create a web mail admin at same cost so all the information about your website before the to this mail the installation that, uh, information and other information about your website will be uh, stored in this email be sent to this mail directly then under here you have enable multi-site i will tell you in future how to use this multi-site features this multi-site feature is just a simple feature whereby you can one site you can manage one site from another you can link two sites together on the same using the same database but we are going to talk about in the advanced classes more advanced classes then disable uh wordpress code you need it leave it blank then come here to language make sure you choose your preferred language the kind of plugin you want to install from all these plugin make sure don't install any plugin yet then come to advanced here for you to identify some people doesn't go to advanced here but i'm going to advise you to go to advanced here you may have many wordpress files inside your database 
but to specify the name of this installation. You have main installation on your database, but to specify the actual name of this information, you need to touch here. So you can just put SEM24, then you can change this one to SEMC. So, so that you will know that the table prefix from the database to find this installation is SEMC. Then the database name of this installation is same because if you just name everything WP, 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 then when you want to diagonalize or when you want to solve issue through the database, you will not know which actual file contains the actual installation. So, but in this case now, we identify that any file that any database file that you see that it have same as prefix, it's a database for same cosmetics. Then under the upgrade, yeah, it depends on your choice, but I will tell you not to, up, to upgrade plugin and team. So the, it brings error to your website. There are some plugin and team that when they update, they will affect their update, will affect the other plugin that are not being updated. So do your update manually anytime you want to do your general website maintenance or general website update. So that's why you need to click on manual update. Then come here to the uh, WordPress update. Make sure your WordPress is always upgrade to both major and minor. But plugin, do it manually. It's an advice. It's an expert advice. Do it manually. The reason why I say is do it manually, I've mentioned that because some plugin, when they update automatic, some other will not update, and their automatic update will affect the other because they need to update at the same time. The fashion need to work together when you are using plugin. That's one of the issue many people have in WordPress. I say WordPress is not good. WordPress is a perfect CMS to design your website, but you need to follow some protocol like this update. Make sure is when you want to do update that you do update. And before you do any update in WordPress, make sure you do backup because when anything when anything get wrong when you are doing update, then you go direct to your backup. Then you install your backup back so that you can go back to the previous uh, uh, installation and previous websites. Now, that's why the backup is automatically, I always put it every week that my site will be backing up every week. So how many we so I can easily, when we have issue on my site, I can back, back it a few days backward so that we can diagonalize the issue, then we resolve the issue once. So I have every week backup and backup location is default. Under the team selection, don't select anything. Don't select anything. Then click on install. Now, if you want to send the, all this information, install information to any email, type the email you want to send, send all this information. Then click on install now. Let's go again to see our uh, process. Then under the setup, I say you choose HTTPS. If I choose HTTP now because there is no SSL, it will tell me exactly. So there is no SSL phone yet. SSL is installing on background. So that's site security. Then make sure you choose a particular domain. Don't choose, if you are using subdomain, choose the subdomain. If you are using the domain, choose the domain. Don't make a mistake of choosing a wrong domain or the domain that already have WordPress. It will pop up that you want to override and if you override everything on that site, you wipe away. For another thing, we the new installation will override the old installation. So make sure you choose the particular uh, uh, domain that you want to install WordPress and make sure directory is blank. Don't install on directory. Then fill your site name, fill your description, leave multi-site empty, leave disabled Chrome empty, fill the username and you can put any type username, fill the password. I use default password. I will change it later when I finish my installation. Then under the plugin area, don't select any plugin. You can install any plugin from the front end if you need it. Select your preferred language. If it is French, make sure you select it. Then come to database area here. It is always hidden like this. Make sure you open it, come to database area, set your database so you can locate the table from all WordPress files you install into this hosting. Then leave the host uh, team empty. And finally, put the installation where you want to send all this information. Email you want to send all this information then click on install, then watch your WordPress install in a few minutes, even seconds sometimes, depend on the network. It's installing, can you see? 
my WordPress is fully installed. Now to go to the administrator area, to go to the site area, you click on your site link. To go to the site area, you click on your site link. Can you see because this is SSL is not on this site, it's now pumping up site security. So that's why I love you putting SSL, buying SSL, then activating SSL before you install the web browser. I will produce, proceed on save. Yeah. You will see the benefit advantage of SSL. What of if it is uh, someone that wants to make a purchase in your site that pop to your site and your site go that the site is not secure. The person will run back. That's why SSL security, I choose it and I talk about it on a full course. You can watch other courses on SSL. I talk on it on a full course. I still give this description on the link on where you can learn more about the SSL. Now, this is your site uh, 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 website. Then to go to the WordPress admin area now where you do the design. Any design you do will show here in the user area. To go to admin, you put slash wp-admin. I will show you in previous video how you can change this slash wp-admin to. You can change. There is nothing you cannot do. Then you put your admin username. Do you remember my username that I do that time? Admin. I use admin as username. Then my password, that one that I just I uh, copied, then I click on login to go to the admin area of my WordPress. Now, immediately you click on login, you'll be directed to admin. This is the admin area of your WordPress. The objective of all other course you'll be attending is how are you going to use all these tools and some other tools that you install as a plugin or as a team to create a beautiful and astounding WordPress website. And even I'm telling you, after you finish your design, there is a way you can do it that even when a user comes to your website, there is no way they search. There is no way those, those people that always find if you use WordPress to design a website, there is no way they find. They will not see that you use WordPress. I'm going to show you that. But mind you, follow this step on how to install WordPress. Then let's meet at the next class. Bye-bye. Thank you, sir.